You know what shocks me and what hurts me and what makes me cry is the fact that today we can all read and write. Today we can all read and write. In this masjid, I'm sure if not every single one of us can read and write. And a lot of us have been to schools. We've got qualifications, you know, primary, secondary, depending on your age and perhaps a, a degree and perhaps even a postgraduate and perhaps you're working and you go so much. But subhanallah, sometimes we still haven't understood this link with Allah and the Quran and we happen to question things in a wrong way. That's why I said there is a new jahiliya. People are trying to convince us that what the Quran has in it is not solution. Billah. Do not misinterpret the Quran. That's one thing. So if ever you feel in your heart that there's something that I don't understand, go and seek knowledge from those who are qualified to answer your questions. And inshallah, you will have the straight up knowledge of the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. But at the same time, people become apologetic. The other day, someone was telling me, and I'm going to say this because it's in the Quran. Did you know Islam oppresses women because at the time of the death of a man, for example, he, if he has daughters and sons, the sons get double that of the daughters and that's very, very bad. I said, brother, utter your shahada again. Well, I'm without a joke, utter your shahada again. The way you, if you were asking a question, it's a different thing. You are making a declaration. Wallahi, it's a fact, it's a serious matter. To, to ask, my, to, to come and say, look, I don't understand why is this? That's still good enough. That wallahi, that's good enough. You say, I know I'm a Muslim, but I don't understand why is it that women get less than men in inheritance? There is an answer to it. But if you come and say that's very bad and I disagree with it and it's terrible, it means, you know what? You've already declared yourself an enemy of the Quran and you don't even know. And that is the same Quran that's going to take you to paradise. Allahu Akbar. You know, the Quran, the hadith of the Prophet says, Al Quran hujjatul laka aw alayk. The Quran will come and bear witness on the day of judgment either for you or against you. And why will it bear witness? It will and on upon what will it bear witness? Not only whether you read it or not, but how you made an effort to apply it, your link with it, you had a relationship with it, what type of a relationship did you have with it? You knew the verses, did you adopt them? You knew of the mercy of Allah, did you ask for it? Did you try to gain it? You knew of the wrath of Allah, did you stay away from it? Did you try your best to protect yourself from it? And so on. All this is part and parcel of the Quran. And that's why the hadith, the Prophet says, Inna Allah la yarfa'u bihad al kitabi aqwaman wa yada'u bihi akhareen. Allah elevates certain people through the Quran and through the same Quran, He drops other people. Allahu Akbar. It's quite a clear cut uh, meaning hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where it depends upon your link with the Quran. May Allah forgive us and may He make us from amongst those whom the Quran bear, bears witness.